In this video, we are discussing Java packages. Now, what is a package? Package is nothing but collection of similar type of classes, interfaces and sub packages. We can have two types of packages in Java. One is the predefined packages and the one is the user defined package. So, let us go for further discussion. Java package is a collection or group of similar type of classes, interfaces and sub packages. In Java, there are two types of packages. So, the predefined package and user defined package. We are having a very famous package that is our java.lang. Under that java.lang, we are having multiple different classes are defined. So, java.lang can be considered as a predefined package. Also, you can go for our own defined packages. The package provides the access protection. To use another package in the current code, we will write like this that is import my package dot star. So, here the star will in indicates that all the classes which will be defined under this my package will be accessible from my current code. Otherwise, we can write import my package dot class name in this in this case, we are going for a certain class only that is the class name. So, for the selected class, we can use this respective syntax. So, let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this package implementation in our Java code. In this demonstration, we shall discuss about the package. Just see here we have defined one class that is the myMath.java under this math package, math package package. So, this is the myMath, myMath.java, the respective class name is myMath and it is under the package math package. So, here we have defined uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 functions are there. So, this function will take this a and b of double type as input and produce the return the output a minus b. This function name is multiply, it will take a and b of double type, it will produce the product that is a star b as return and then we are having this double a and double b and a by b will be the, re will be the return argument and that means that we are going for the quotient and the function name is divide as well. We are going for this factorial. So, the number whatever we are passing, so that numbers factorial will be returned by this function. And here we have made the recursive function because from this factorial function, the function itself has been called. So, factorial we have calculated using recursion. So, this is my class that is a my math under the file my math dot java and this my math dot java is under the package math package. Now, let us go for another one that is a package demo dot java. So, this is a java class name of the class is package demo and here we are importing import math package dot my path. So, this particular class that is a my math this particular class which is residing under this math package folder. So, it has been imported here. So, as a result of that here we can define the math class object that is a math and then math dot subtract math dot multiply math dot divide math dot factorial what about the functions were defined in this my math class we can easily access them from the my math uh, object that is the math here so math dot subtract we are passing two double data math dot multiply we are passing two double data math dot divide we are passing two double data in this way you can find that we are calculating the respective uh, calculations and we are passing parameters accordingly so if i go for the execution you can find that after subtraction 140.23 minus 23.15, I'm getting the outcome like this. Then 8.5 into 5, we're getting this outcome in the in the form of double. Then 55 by 7, we're getting this outcome. That is the quotient we're getting in the term of double. You can easily find that. And uh, they are actually returning long here. They are returning three double double type uh, output. So it is returning double type calculated values. And the last one is the uh, long here. And there is a factorial we are calculating on this 6 factorial we are getting this one as 7 to 0. You see while calculating 6 factorial math dot factorial will be having the input argument that is 6. So you are getting that this idea that this particular my math dot java is residing in some different folder in some different package. As a result of that to access them from this package demo dot java we are supposed to import math package dot my path. Then only the my path object math can be defined with, within this package demo and then we can access the respective methods defined in the class my math. Thanks for watching this video.